I'd like to start off by giving infinite honors, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harukakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule and teach well. Peace and blessings to the hopeful and faithful elect across the four corners, living and preaching this truth to the best of their ability, in sincerity, and in charity. <clears throat> Shalom. Shalom to you, Akim, and you few Akwaf out there. My lesson is going to center around the truth today. I'm going to start off with John, the third chapter, and the uh, 21st verse. For everyone that doeth Salakia, 20, so I was reading from the 20th verse, Salakia, this is the 21st verse. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh. I'm going to read it one more time. This is John, the third chapter, the 21st verse. But he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh. <clears throat> and so, as I stated previously, I want to look at that word. Well, to begin for starters, we're going to look at that word truth. This is the transliteration of the word truth. Strong's G 225, Aletheia, Aletheia. Aletheia. The outline of biblical uses for the word truth is objectively what is true in any matter under consideration, truly, in truth, according to truth, of a truth, in reality, in fact, Certainly, what is true in things appertaining to Yahweh and the duties of man, moral and religious truth, in the greatest latitude, the true notions of Yahweh, which are open to human reason without his supernatural inter intervention. The truth as taught in the Christian religion respecting Yahweh and the execution of his purposes through Hamashiach and respecting the duties of man, opposing alike to the superstitions of the Gentiles and the invitations of the Jews and the corrupt opinions and precepts of false teachers even among Christians. Subjectly, truth as a personal excellence, that candor of mind which is free from affection, pretense, simulation, falsehood, or deceit. Basically saying that the truth is pure. The truth, there's no getting around. I have here <clears throat> Colossians 3 and 2. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. The things which are above are of the truth. The things which are above are pure, like the truth. And so those are the things, or those are the things which we should set our sights upon, the things that are far off. The coming of the kingdom, our salvation, drawing nigh unto Yahweh while Yahweh shy so that he can draw nigh to us. These are the things which we should set our affection on continually, meditating on, meditating on these things day and night. You know, go back to John, the third chapter, and the 21st verse. Mind you, this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And he says, But he doeth, he doeth trust. But he that doeth truth come, cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh. And so we're going to go once again, and we're going to look at that word light in, the, uh, in a linear. Let 
And this that word light, the transliteration. Strong's G, 5457. Fos. 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 Light, the light, emitted by a lamp. A heavenly light such as surrounds angels when they appear on earth. Anything emitting light, a star. Fire because it is light and sheds light. A lamp or torch. Light, i.e. brightness of a lamp. Um, metaphorically speaking, Yahweh is light because light has the extremely delicate, subtle, pure, brilliant quality. And that's, you know, plainly stated when it comes to our, our Lord, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. He's pure. He, he's brilliant in quality. Of truth and its knowledge together with the spiritual purity associated with it. Here it again, here it is again, the word purity, spiritual purity, which is what Yahweh Yahweh Shai consists of, spiritual purity, that which is exposed to the view of all, openly, publicly. Yahweh Yahweh Shai is exposed and is openly and publicly viewed to the hopefully elect. Getting you to understand that he is truth and that he is the way. So it says D right here says reason, mind, the power of understanding, especially moral and spiritual truth, which goes hand in hand with following Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah's law, statutes, and commandments, especially when you're viewing them. From a spiritual aspect. This is Matthew's fifth chapter and sixteen verse. Yahweh Shai speaking, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. That's right. So that the men will know that you're not doing this for your own self-gratification, that you're not doing this so that you can get a check or you can get some type of kudos or, or, or um, clout. You know, it has nothing to do with any of us here in the ministry, nothing to do with any of us here in the body. To Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, be the glory. And that's it. All we're, in the all we're, all we're worried about is bringing glory and honor unto the kingdom putting Yahweh while Yahweh Shai first that's that's it nothing more nothing less I'm gonna go back to John the third chapter in the 21st verse <clears throat> he said be he that but Salaki but he that doeth truth coming to the light that is these may be made manifest that they are wrought in Yahweh and once again, we're going to go here and we're going to look at the word deeds. This is the word deeds, the transliteration of it. Strong's G, 2041. Ergon. Ergon. The transliteration is Ergon. Outline of biblical usage states business, employment, that which anyone is occupied that which one undertakes to do enterprise undertaking any product whatever anything accomplished by hand art industry or mind an act deed thing done the idea of working is emphasized to that which is less than work Op uh, op opposition to that which is less than work so your deeds that are to be done or when you go out on the highways and hedges, when you are bringing out this message to the hopeful elect and anyone that's trying to hear the message in earnest, a believer, you are doing the work and you're doing the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. And it says right there, working. It's not sitting back, it's not taking breaks. It's not saying I'm back. It's continued working. It's a lifestyle. And you have to continue to continue to work. 
You have to practice at it day in and day out. Working for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Being a slave unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I got another <clears throat> I got another scripture in Matthew the 6th chapter uh, one first verse through the fourth verse Matthew the 6th chapter <clears throat> first through the fourth verse take heed that you do not your alms before men to be seen of them otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in heaven Therefore, when thou doest thine alms, do not sound a trumpet before thee, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, that they may have glory of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But when thou doest alms, let not thy left hand know what thy right hand doeth, that, that thine alms may be in secret, and thy father which seeth in secret himself shall reward thee openly. And this goes into doing the works for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai as well. This is on the other hand when it comes to the body, when it comes to your brothers, when it comes to doing charitable deeds to the body. You may be bringing bottles of water, you know, you, you, your brother may be in need financially and you, and you make sure that they are accommodated. But you're not filming it on camera like you may see on YouTube or, you know, the man gave, giving a filming that he's giving someone uh, uh, of lesser statue or uh, who is in need giving them something but you're filming it on camera that's that's not what it's about you're doing what you're doing in secret between you and that brother so that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai can reward you openly because he sees in secret we're going to go back to John the third chapter in the 21st verse But he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest, that they are wrought in Yahweh. <clears throat> and we're going to go here and look at that word wrought. This is the transliteration of the word wrought. Strong's G 2316. Theos. 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 Salakia, Akim, Salakia. This is the transliteration. Strong's G, 2038. Ergadzamai. 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 <clears throat> this is the outline of biblical uses to work, labor, do work, to trade, to make gains by trading, do business, to do, work out, exercise, perform, commit, to cause, to exist, produce, to work for, earn by working to acquire. What you are trying to acquire is spiritual, a spiritual bank account that you can store up in heaven. This is another thing that is you're looking for off. These are things that you're looking to attain to, which are the spiritual gifts which are given to you, which are gifted to you by Yahweh by Yahweh Shai, and they come from above. They are not here on earth. Nowhere can they be found on earth. And you have to labor for them, which is you have to go to work for them on, on a daily basis. It says here you have to exercise, you have to perform, and you have to commit yourself to this. It's not, you know, uh, for the faint of heart. You know, you have to steadily work at this. And some days, just like in a carnal mind in, in here on earth, you don't feel like going to work. But guess what? Because of your love that you have for Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you get up and you work. And you continue to work out your salvation through fear and trembling. This is James 2nd chapter. 
in the 14th verse. What doth it profit, my brethren, though a man say he have faith and have not works? Can faith save him? No, it can't. What you have to do is put your works toward what you believe in, what you're committing yourself to. And then you will see your reward. Then you will be able to reap the benefits. This is John, the seventh chapter. In the 37 and the 38th verse. In the last day, that great day of the feast, Yahweh stood and cried, saying, If any man thirst, let him come unto me and drink. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. And that's right. Believing and having faith will have you doing the work which is necessary, which is the necessary requirements when it comes to being in his ministry. When it comes to pleasing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, when it comes to following his laws, his statutes, and commandments, because you have faith. And by you having faith, that means you're willing to put in the work. That means you're willing to be committed to the cause. And when you're willing to when you're willing to be committed to the cause, these are the things that manifest themselves. I'll go here to 2 Timothy. Fourth chapter. Second verse. It says, Preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. And this is pursuant to the work which you will be doing. This is pursuant to the work that you've been tasked out to do for Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Because you love Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and because you're willing to be obedient. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai loves obedience rather than sacrifice. This is Habakkuk second chapter, second verse. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, that he may run that readeth it. Who is going to run that readeth it? The people whose eyes have been opened. The people whose eyes have been allowed to have eye salve on them. The people whose ears have been unplugged. Abarathas are those are of the hopefully lit. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is trying to get us, the prophets, to bring into the fold. And so, in that, in that sense, we have to make what we're saying plain to the people. Very simple. Nothing, nothing hard. It's not trigonometry or rocket science. Not advanced calculus. You know, you're not dealing with integers or uh, uh, fractions, this, that, and the other. It's, it's plain upon the table. I heard uh, the elder apostle say A, B, C. It's, it's simple. This is uh, 2 Corinthians, 3rd chapter, and the 12th verse. Seeing then that we have such hope, we use great plainness of speech. That's the latter part of 2 Corinthians, 3rd chapter, and 12th verse. We use great plainness of speech. Nothing, nothing that's going to go over your head. Nothing too hard. Very, very simple. So that you can be able to get it. So that you can be able to receive it. I'm going to go here to John, the 14th chapter, and the 6th verse. Yahweh I said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. All of us, Akim, and you few Akwaf, all looking to go unto the Father. But we have to know one thing. No one goes unto the Father except for he goes through Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And as it states in John 14 and 6, Yahweh Shai saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And the way in which we get to the Father is through the Son. And in order to go through the Son, we have to work. And the way in which we work is through rebuking, reproving, and 
exhortation, putting out these epistles on a daily basis, putting ourselves last, being of a contrite heart, humbling ourselves, being as submissive as possible so that we can bring honor, glory, and thanksgiving unto the kingdom, putting ourselves last, doing what thus says Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, to bring him all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. So with that, I hope you, Akim and Yifu Akwa, were edified. I'm going to say, a ball, a ball, a quam Yashirala. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Shalom, shalom.